Oh, hello. Hi, everyone. Are you listening to me? I'm trying to put everything together before transmitting this live. Okay. Let's check here. It seems we're going to begin in 30 seconds. So I'm going to begin with using a little bit the software and talking about it in a few moments, okay? Let's start. a missile, throw in a missile, there is a blast. Those two drivers are sent to my DAW, my digital audio workstation. You can work with any what you want. Just make sure you have the same MIDI drivers for sending here and receiving here. Here you have a siren playing, it's automatic, it depends on the time, we have one minute of playing and it opens with one minute, closes with five, reopens at 18, closes at 20 and so, so far until 51. Um, let's jump to the rain. Oh, actually, before jumping to the rain, there is an auto throwing, automatic throwing of missiles here. are represented here by long notes. You can set the length of each missile, which is a metaphor for the distance you are to throw in the missile. Let's make them shorter. And after this time expires, it makes sound at last. it will select the black notes and send only them. Let's stop this. This is the last one, 13 seconds, one blast, send to second workout. Okay, so let's begin with the rain. We have fine droppers oh, I have a siren coming in it's important to be alert
I'm resetting this dropper. Actually, I reset all of them using this control, global control here. I can reset them all. This orange toggles opens the spreading of complexity in each dropper. I'm going to use all the droppers first without the complexity and we're going to open them one by one. simulate a raindrop They are all playing, randomic durations, actually randomic velocities and pitches, but the duration is controlled here to make short notes. Let me put long notes. But they sound better in staccato. As you may see, each dropper has a different note out driver. They are all set to buzz one, but you may choose different drivers to address different synthesizers. Here I have four different synthesizers, but I'm playing on in the first one. Those are the missiles and the blasts. So rain one, two, three, and four. Let's put different drivers with different sounds. I will leave this to one. And here you can see the timbre complexity is greater. Here you can see the notes being played. All of them are playing the same note. And now in the capitalist version, the white one. Let's open the complexification of pitches. Here is the complexity generator. So here you may see that we have D's and E's in alternation. And soon they are going to open more and more. Here the same process is happening, I'm going to begin the third, listen to it. Throw a missile. Two missiles. The fourth dropper. Let's open the 
growth in complexity. It takes a while to open it up. To open it up completely, it will take, let's check. Each 10 seconds, it opens another node, which means in 640 seconds, it's going to be completely open. And let's check the last one. Well, as explanation, I think I covered everything. As a performer, you may put all the different timbres in different channels and change them in the middle of the performance. For instance, let me put them all in the same bus, the fourth. They are all playing this track which has this gong and I may put another different synthesizer and you have a more radioactive sound because it has a long attack it's good for the rain more fast attacks this In sum, you have this two different sections, the missiles that you can send here. There is an auto-throwing of missiles here. The blasts are automatic, but you can play them. Don't forget to choose the correct drivers for everything and choose your synthesizer wisely to result in a beautiful music oh and I didn't talk about this presets you can you know save some configurations in both sections in those presets and I have some of them ready here three in the missiles part and in the rain part but you can save your own you may change the parameters you wish 
for instance and you hold shift and click in a clear slot now this configuration is saved here in the force oh and i must talk about a little on the global controllers a global driver that you can choose a driver for all the five droppers the global panic is to flush eventual stuck notes in your synthesizers I wish you don't have to use it but it's here uh, global rain to turn them simultaneously on and off we have this global duration for changing all the durations from one same source we have the global rules to turn on the, the complexification of notes, of pitches. You can reset to begin in, in the one note dropping. And you have the sirens that are automatic, controlled by the minutes of the timer, but you can you know, play them uh, from here. No, you can't, I think. You just can turn it on and off and it plays randomically when it wishes. So that's it, I think. Thank you very much and leave your questions and comments in the section down below. Bye bye.